When I was about 14 years old, we're talking about like 15 years ago now, uh, my best friend at the time, he gave me this CD. It was a mix CD of a lot of his favorite songs, and there was a lot of Linkin Park on there. And I had never really heard Linkin Park before. I mean, I'd heard of Linkin Park, but you know, I grew up in a Christian family. We always spent a lot of time in church, so I, I, all I heard was really gospel music and you know, classic rock on the radio at home. And so at 14 years old, hearing Linkin Park for the first time, it just flipped a switch in my brain immediately. It was, they very quickly became the first band I was ever obsessed with. And I mean obsessed with Linkin Park. I spent a lot of time trying to find every single song I could. I spent a lot of time on Kaza, illegally downloading as many Linkin Park songs as I could. And I didn't even have an MP3 player at the time to put them on it. What I had was a digital camcorder that you can put mp3s on and kind of use it as an mp3 player. So I was carrying this little digital camcorder with me with my earbuds and I would listen to these songs every day and every night and I could only fit like 12 at a time so I would switch them out depending on which ones I wanted to listen to that day and um, I had every song that they had out at the time. I had them all memorized, every lyric, every, every note and it started inspiring me to, to want to sing and perform because I'd never heard anything like that before. I never heard music with screaming in it. I never heard such passion in music. I never heard such a, you know, aggression and raw emotion put into a voice. And it, it, it inspired me and I couldn't sing at the time. I didn't know anything about singing. You know, I sang as a kid, but I didn't really know anything about how to sing like that. But every night, I put my earbuds in and I had this camcorder and I'd hold it and I'd grab something that looked like a microphone and I would jump around in my room and I would pretend like I was performing these songs. And I was putting on a show every night for nobody. And it's kind of like what I do now except I do it to my own voice. But uh, you know, so really Chester was the first experience I had learning how to perform and learning how to put on a show. And uh, so as you know today. It's now been two years since Chester passed away, and when I first heard the news two years ago, I was at work, I was on my computer, and a news article came up, and I didn't believe it at first. And then more started coming up, and then I started getting messages. So I turned to my coworker, who was about the same age as me, and he was also a big Lincoln Park fan, and I told him, and we both were very upset. We were just kind of sitting there staring at it, and we didn't really say anything. And we didn't really know who to talk to because nobody else there even knew what we were talking about. But um, it, it hit me hard. It hit me hard because um, I hadn't really listened to Lincoln Park in years before that. So all of a sudden it just resurfaced. And I remembered Lincoln Park and I remember Chester and it just, it was brand new in my mind and all of a sudden I realized that, that he was gone. And I, I couldn't believe it. And looking back, I mean, Chester is what inspired me to start. So, I mean, that night when I first heard, I had to go home and I had to do a cover. I did uh, Breaking the Habit. Um, I had to go home that night and do it, no matter what, and I, I got it done. I was very proud of it, but, um, you know, now it's been two years. And I was listening to random songs on YouTube the other night, and um, I pulled up One More Light by Linkin Park, and I got very emotional. I had to. I went to the bathroom and I cried after listening to it because the song itself is, is beautiful and it's emotional, but then just seeing Chester on the screen and just remembering what he did for me in my life without him even knowing it. And uh, so basically, thank you, Chester, for getting me started. Um, Everybody who loved you, we all miss you still, and we're always going to miss you, and I hope to make you proud with this little tribute. So this is One More Light by Lincoln Park. Thank you. Should have stayed Were there signs I ignored 
We saw brilliance when the world was asleep. There are things that we can have but can't keep if they say. If one more light goes out in the sky of a million stars, it flickers, flickers. Who cares when someone's time runs out? If a moment is all we are, we're quicker, quicker. Who cares if one more light goes out? Well, I do. One more chair than you need. Oh, when you're angry and you should be, it's not fair. Just cause you can see it doesn't mean it isn't there. If they say, out in the sky of a million stars it flickers flickers who cares when someone's time runs out if a moment is all we are we're quicker quicker who cares if one more light goes out well I Flickers, flickers, who cares when someone's time runs out? If a moment is all we are, 